Welcome guys, so I got a lot of questions asking how to throw grenades properly without exposing yourself. This is a grenade guide video, in this video, I will give you few tips and tricks on how you can throw grenades without exposing yourself to the opponent, example like this. Okay these are the following topics we will be going through, of course the first thing is you need to learn is, how to cook the grenade properly, which is the most important thing, that you have to learn. Here is an example, if you throw your grenade like if you are throwing it as a rock, without cooking at all, your enemy will notice the grenade, and he will have enough time to get away from its explosion or its damage. But if you cook your grenade until the timer is at 3 or 2 seconds, then your opponent will have no time to escape from its explosion damage. In other words, the opponent will die immediately. You can actually practice on how to cook the grenades in training grounds, go to the map selection area, and click on the training, it will take you to Cheer Park AKM statue, now you'll get training grounds option, click on it, it will take you to the training area, and here you can find the grenade, or throwable training area, there are three difficulty levels you can choose from, I would recommend starting from difficulty number one. So what you have to do here, you need to throw the grenade at this target, and it should blow up right before it hits the ground, or when it bounces up. So you might be thinking this, when should I release the grenade from my hand, well it totally depends on how far is your target, suppose if the target is under 20 meters, then cook the grenade until the timer reaches 1 or 2 seconds, and similarly, if your target is at 30 meters, then you should cook the grenade until the timer reaches 2 or 3 seconds. So I hope you understand this method. But you can't always know exactly how far is your opponent, so you gotta throw the grenade on what you think is the right timing, if it doesn't work learn from your mistakes. But after some time of practicing with that experience, you will know exactly how long you have to cook the grenade, depending on how far is your target. Eventually as the time passes, you will learn how to cook a perfect grenade. Two years ago, I used to throw grenades as they were like rocks, but now they are one of the most powerful weapons in your hand, if you use it properly. By the way, overcooking the grenade can also get you and your teammates killed, so you have to learn how to cancel your grenade immediately. I would recommend increasing your cancel button size a little bit bigger, and put that cancel button it in a place where you can reach it easily. So now you can hit the cancel button much easier when the grenade is about to blow up. Moving on to the next topic, how to throw a grenade without exposing yourself to your opponent. Anyway here's one of the most common mistake that new players make, they usually come out of the cover completely just to throw the grenade like this, this is extremely risky, and your opponent can easily kill you, so don't throw grenades like this. So what you have to do in order to not expose yourself, whenever you're throwing grenade while hiding behind a wall. The first thing you need to do is lean either left or right depending on your situation, and then cook the grenade and adjust your grenade trajectory, and the most important thing you need to make sure that your head or your body is not crossing this wall. Suppose if your body or the head is outside of this wall, mostly your opponent can spot you and may shoot at you, here is an example. So this is why you need to make sure that your head or the body doesn't cross the wall, but yes the hand might be visible to enemy, since it goes outside of the wall, even if the enemy sees your hand it's extremely difficult to shoot at you. Sometimes if you're lucky, your hand may not be visible, only the grenade will be visible, especially when throwing it. And obviously if you cook your grenade perfectly, your opponent can't escape from the nade. And now to the next situation, if you ever got stuck at small walls, or broken walls like these, and you decided you want to throw grenade, but when you're throwing it, the wall may block your grenade, so you may have to stand in order to throw the grenade, especially against second or third floors, but when you get up to throw grenade, you will expose yourself and the opponents can headshot you easily. Here is an example. So what you have to do is find the edge of the wall example like this, and then lean either left or right, and cook the grenade, and make sure that your body doesn't go outside of this wall area, only the hand should be outside of this wall area, if your body or head goes outside of the wall area, your opponent can spot you. And this is how it looks in your opponent's view, only the hand can be visible, mostly while throwing the grenade. And similarly you can also throw it from broken wall gaps, such as this, with same method as before. Do not expose your head or body, only the hand should be out otherwise the opponent can see you. Moving on to the next situation, 
people usually throw grenades from house to house, but still some people will get killed while throwing grenades. Most of you usually throw grenades through windows, so same as before, make sure your head and body doesn't go outside of the window frame. If it goes outside of the window frame, you will be spotted and may get killed. But there is actually a way you can throw grenades more safely from house to house. Sometimes when you throw grenades, you have absolutely no idea where it's gonna land because you don't have view to see where it will land, but you can use this free look option or eye button thing, will allow you to see where it will land in such angles that are not visible to you normally. But this trick only works in TPP, and gyroscope players can take full advantage of this, while the non-gyro player can see where the grenade will land, but can't adjust like gyroscope players. In order to throw grenade safely, you need to go prone, and then open the grenade, and now you can't actually see where it will land, this is where the free look comes in handy, using it will allow you to see where this molotov will land. As I said, if you try to throw grenade example like this, you may get killed since you're exposing yourself too much. So this is why going prone and throwing grenades or molotovs are extremely safe if you can use the free look option to see where it would actually land. Plus this is super accurate way to throw grenades in my opinion. By the way, the grenade pin opening sound can be heard up to 20 meters. Anyway, that's all I got for this video I hope you learned something new. If you did hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this and see you guys in the next video, enjoy my bot gameplay. Oh, we all have our burdens, yeah, but we just keep on fighting and we never